Okay, well, this was gonna be a <laughs> this is gonna be a lot, guys. So, uh, well, we have another Fate channel to go over. I figured, hey, let's actually just try and see what they're gonna be adding in the next feature update. I'm sure that uh, some of you who may be familiar with Mario Kart Tour may notice that some of the voices are kind of similar. Hmm, I wonder why that is. All right, enough about that. It's time for flapping. Lots and lots of flapping. Hey! Hello, summoners! There's a refreshing chill in the air. The leaves are changing colors, and is that pumpkin spice I smell? Oh, good lord. <laughs> Yeah, Starbucks keeps pushing that on me. Stop it. Come on, I'm hoping for some awesome Halloween units. I can already see them on the board there. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mean to interrupt, but I'm going to be talking a lot. I'm excited to see what's happening. It's been a while. This is Aether Raids again. In the next version update, two new R and R Oh, all right, Aether Resort. For the harvest season will be added to the Aether Resort. The harvest season? Are we getting farms? Are we actually? Please don't. Oh my God, are you serious? Is that Mer and Nelly too? What is that they have? Berries? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's adorable, but I'm not sure who it's for. Ooh. That is clearly a squash, just so we're clear. But anyways. <laughs> okay. Well, we got we got crops. Great. Oh God, why does this feel like I'm on MySpace again or Facebook? Oh Lord. Oh. Oh, you can grow dragon flowers. That's awesome. Of course. Well, that's definitely a lot better than what I thought this was going to be. Aww. Okay, so now we have new form of dragon flower acquisition, I guess. I'm all right with that. Oh. Good gods left harvested. Oh my god. Yep, that's right, folks. Make sure you're... <laughs> oh my god, we can actually make food? Please tell me we can make food out of that. Oh, perfect. Oh, Oliver looks like he would enjoy this. Okay, well... First, let's pick some ingredients. Uh, How about squash and wheat? Oh, that just sounds gross. <laughs> oh, it's just like... Oh, God, it's like fates mixed in with a little bit of, uh... Three houses in this regard, and how that functions, but, uh... But things could have gone better. I just like how the only person who liked it was Ike. He was like, yeah, that was okay. And you'll receive a total for each reward cycle. Okay. Based on this total, you can earn in-game rewards like the ones shown here. Uh... Those are hungry, so why not treat them to some tasty meals? I mean, sure, feathers, I guess. Not really sure how I feel about that one. But, all right. We'll take it, I guess. To the Aether Resort. As long as the farming doesn't take too much. <laughs> We're not gonna make you try Fogwa. Fogwa? Fogwa. I can't say that word. I'm losing my mind. Oh! Ta-da! These special heroes are 
here to bring some fall flair to the Harvest Festival. I'll introduce each hero one by one. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, Lara Shell. I'm Lara Shell, the Harvest Festival princess of peerless beauty. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> it's Lara Shell. Oh. From the All right, let me just say real quick, pausing just real quick, that is beautiful art. Look at her. Good God. Not only that, I love that her animation with that, uh, with the, uh, you know, potion file is just really well done. Just watch her throw it. Dressed as a mad nice. scientist, she looks fiendishly fashionable. And she's rocking out, too. Laura look at that. Makes <laughs> spectacles look so chic. The more candy I collect... More I'll have to give to the little ones. Now this is not who I was expecting. It's Dozla, also <laughs> from Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. With that tattered outfit and those metallic bolts, could it be alive? It's alive! <laughs> what kind of genius uh, experiments is Lara Shell performing? That's a good question. I you mean, know my oh, oh, Ilyana. I like anything I can eat. Something wicked. This oh way my up. god. It's Ilyana from the Fire Emblem Path of Radiance game. Well, I know a she lot of you. Hauntingly beautiful as a vampire princess. Is that what that is? <laughs> I just thought she wanted to dress pretty. That coffin's not so scary when it's stuffed with sweets. I don't know about that one. Rolf? What really? Do, do I look like a real ghost? <laughs> Here's Rolf. Oh my god. Fire emblem path of radiance. <laughs> what a spooky ghost. How cute. I mean, he he's pretty adorable, but it just kind of feels like he got Charlie Brown here a bit. <laughs> like, hey, what are you dress as? A ghost. I just cut two, you know, holes in this cloth. There we go. Boo. Spooky stuff. I mean, yeah, that's pretty. What? A father -daughter duo. Oh, this is so cute. That is so cute. Oh, that's so adorable. I want it. I want it. I want it so bad. That's so cute. <laughs> She's even a little. Oh my god. What? The duo hero. Oh no. Closer look at this pair's prowess. Okay, I gotta see. Mm, a new button. Oh, also, just thought I'd point this out real quick over here on the top right. Uh, I, I, you know, distant counter figures. It's Hector. He's also a sword unit this time around. Well, buttons were made for tapping. And he has a lot of stats. God. All together. Charge. Oh my God. What? Their powers. The result is truly breathtaking. They dealt damage to every foe within three columns. What the? I'm glad this dynamic duo is on my side. Yeah, that's a little bit broken. These duo skills can be used on yes. any map, including those of the arena and grand hero battles. I like how they're not showing off anything other than that. <laughs> so think carefully about when okay, he is an armored unit. He is an armored unit. Just thought I'd point that out. Oh! Have a powerful dual effect. This effect causes their stat total to be treated as 185 in the Coliseum. Oh. This means you'll get to take on higher scoring opponents. Oh. Receive a higher God. For each battle. So. Oh, how could I forget? Duo heroes also have a special conversation just between the two characters. Yes. You can't hear anywhere else. Please. Father? Yes? What is it, my dear? Oh, my God. Will that kid come back to play again? That kid? Oh, you mean Elliewood's boy, Roy. Of course he will. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. Will appear oh in the my god. Special hero summoning event, a monstrous harvest. 
You can also play the upcoming Tempest Trials Plus event to make that ghostly Rolf your ally. Okay, so Rolf gets <laughs> oh, <something's laughs> He's just like, oh hey! Oh god, summoning what? tickets everywhere? To celebrate the Harvest Festival, we're giving away first summon tickets for use in the special hero summoning event, A Monstrous Harvest! Yes, please. We receive five in total. They can only be used for this summoning event, though, so summon away! I think it's pretty obvious which character I'm sure everyone wants. Not only is it adorable, it also makes it a little bit more fun to actually see characters interact. I'm okay with duo heroes, at least in this regard. I just wonder how the skills are gonna go. Anyways, back over to what we were doing. So, <laughs> all right. I know, right? So cute. Oh Jesus. That's not something I want to know. What we got here? Oh, okay. Bunch of login rewards, I'm sure. What do we got? Yep. No here. surprises here. Let's take a look at some. Daily reward maps. Bound hero battles? What? First up, Harvest Festival Daily Reward Maps. This time, groups of two Harvest Festival heroes will appear as fearsome foes. You can choose either normal or hard difficulties for each map, and you can earn up to 14 orbs by wow. completing these maps. Wow. 14 on whole orbs, folks. I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> okay, I need to know what this is. The bound oh. Hero battles that no surprises. Lilina are returning. Both will be available for 14 days. Show these two just how tightly knit the bonds of your team are. That's not all. Three star heroes Roy and Elliewood will also be available from quests. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. And finally, There's a Twitter event? Oh, there's quizzes. Holding a Twitter quiz event starting on October 7th. There will be seven questions in total. We will be covering that. I want to see if you guys know any of your stuff. So, correctly, everyone will receive 10 orbs and 5,000 hero feathers. All right, that's pretty good. Look forward to participating. I will take it. Speaking of rewards, in addition to existing Aether Raids quests, we're adding different types of quests for the Aether Resort. If you're interested, why not give them a try? Time to take one last bite of new information! So now we have a new duel. What is this? This a haunted house? What no, in the... It's some sort of tower. What could this place be? Is this an infinite mode? No! Oh, this is where the new event, Hall of Forms, takes place. Excuse now, me? Let's take a you look. Make, you used a bunch of generic terms there. Okay. The heroes in my team are from Valentia, aren't they? Strange. Oh. I don't remember summoning them. Defeats oh, foes and learn skills as you go. Made in the image of a hero. Oh. In this event, you'll be charged with devising a strategy to guide these Forma units safely through the Hall of Forms. Interesting. It seems our strategy this time will focus on Forma units of Aum, Celica, May, and Bowie. Hmm. Make your way through the Hall of Forms by fighting in battles that cost special stamina. One battle costs one stamina, so you can explore these halls three times a day. What are we waiting for? Let's give it a try! And then of course you also get a torch, which gives you more. What makes these Forma units special, I wonder? What's next? They're only level 10. Hmm... I don't see any skills or special weapons either. Is that how they learn skills? Forma units seem like they're pretty weak. Will this really be okay? I don't know. She doesn't even have a fully upgraded weapon. Okay, seems everything's all right. <laughs> uh, legend, you know, Brave Alm is good. Just like heroes, Forma units can level up by felling foes. 
I see. <laughs> yes, yes, Faye, they do. I got through it somehow. Once you cleared a map, oh, I see. A chance to improve a forma. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. It's not just weapons and skills. I can even choose sacred seals or merges. Since what in the... appear at random, your forma may get really lucky and have the chance to learn a super powerful skill. Let's see. I think I'll go with this one. You're gonna give? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, isn't that uh? Wow! Look at that forma go! Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that wow. New Year's reads uh? Actual weapon. I could be wrong there. I forget. Right. <laughs> Let's keep along. I mean, he didn't have anything before, so now he has that. That's cool. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, look how pretty that weapon is. Oh my god. I just like listening to Faye na <laughs> narrate that. Like, oh man. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see. So therefore, it's going to be random, or is it only one? Okay, so it's the first unit, by the looks of things. Interesting game mode. You can earn in-game rewards like the one shown here from Hall of Forms. A reward will be yours the first time you clear each chamber. I'm going to keep forging ahead and get all of those rewards while I'm at it. Okay, well, I do like this system because this one is... For people who don't necessarily have to have a unit. Like, this is... This is just built around having fun with units that you may not have, and just kind of designing them that way. That is honestly really cool. Well. I mean... Okay. That was very interesting. I would say definitely... <laughs> I I'm just going to go through it real quick and give you my opinions on this. I really don't care about the whole farming thing and all that fun stuff. It seems fine to at least give dragon flowers and stuff. I'm not so sure about the cooking thing. We'll have to uh, wait and see on the rewards. But if it's just feathers like that, might be useful. Uh, really depends. But the Hall of Forms option looks to be something that's just generally less about luck at least in summoning and using your money, and instead seems to just be about having pure fun, which is something I've wanted from this game for a little while. Just something simple, easy to do, easy for you to get into and play a mode without having to worry. So this is definitely a really big step up, and I'm hoping it's going to be about as much fun as it looks to be, and definitely a lot better. I'm just really excited about all of this. As you can see, my mouse is ready to go. Um, and then, of course... We have the new heroes, the new dual heroes that are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Hector and Lilina, of course, are adorable and are going to have their own little thing <laughs> with their... God, it's so cute. I just, I love it. And not only that, I love the little, little you know, hint there at meeting Roy and all that fun stuff, seeing him again. Very adorable. All of the Halloween units this time around look to be pretty fun and are quite diverse, at least from the games they selected. Uh, although I'm sure some people are probably like another Hector. It's just kind of cute. Uh, I'll take it, sure. <laughs> uh, outside of that though, there, there really isn't too much to talk about when it comes to the farmlands and things like that. Mostly because it's Aether Resorts and, you know, it's going to be built around that. But it's nice to have dragon flowers. it's nice to have all this other stuff, but I'm really excited. This is probably one of the game modes that I've been waiting for for so long, was just something simple. So, yeah boy. I want to know what your opinions are in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be covering more as Fire Emblem Heroes continues to evolve. You know, feel free to stay tuned. Leave a like, maybe. Check out the rest of this channel. Subscribe if you enjoy it. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye bye